Yo guys! So this is the monitor that I've been using for a couple of months now. It is the AOC 29 inch ultra widescreen monitor. And this thing is wide. So the resolution is a little unconventional at 2560 by 1080 p Technically it surpasses 2K but not exactly 1440p. But to be honest, this monitor is pretty damn good. So the monitor's brightness levels max out at 300 candelas per square meter. And to me at least, this thing is very bright. I jokingly tell people that to wear sunglasses just to avoid my retinas from being burnt out. However, you gamers might want to opt for something with a little bit more brightness. I should also mention that this is an IPS display with LED backlighting. So with most color sensitive work that I do, I do find this to be well suitable. And you won't be disappointed by the clarity and sharpness of this monitor. On my old 1080p AOC monitor, I spent a lot of time adjusting the temperatures, gamma, contrast, and all that other stuff. But for this one, I've been completely fine with keeping it stock. So one of the biggest benefits of having an ultra widescreen monitor is being able to snap windows side by side without sacrificing usability. This becomes really essential to me for schoolwork and video editing in particular. Gaming is also a very immersive experience, provided that your game supports this unconventional resolution. With a few games that I do play, I didn't experience any problems, although I had to do a little tweaking within Fallout 4 in particular. And keep in mind that this monitor is an inch shorter vertically than a standard monitor. It's not a big deal, but definitely something that you might notice at first, especially during gameplay. So would I recommend this monitor? If you are truly looking for an ultra widescreen experience, then go for it. I switched from a dual monitor setup to this and haven't looked back. Although, you might want to first take a look at LG's ultra widescreen monitor selection before settling with AOC. And just keep in mind some of the hurdles of the slightly unconventional resolution and size you're going to have to adjust yourself to. So guys, if you liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, and as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.